With multi-million dollar budgets and the attention of millions of people, mega projects can really be a game changer for an entire nation. From what will become the world's largest airport, to an autonomous metro system that includes over 40 stations, to the largest structure ever sent to space, here are some of the most expensive mega projects in the world. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. Were you surprised about number one on our list? Let us know in the comments below. Number six, Doha Metro. With a rapidly growing population, the city of Doha in Qatar needed an efficient transport solution. Therefore, they launched its first underground railway system, the Doha Metro. This $36 billion project aims to reduce travel times for over 1.6 million people per year. Inspired by old Islamic architecture, the metro's 40 stations will use a combination of stylish arches, lighting, and ventilation to make passengers feel comfortable. In addition to the extraordinary design, the metro will have an automatic train operation system. The system will run the 75 driverless trains that can reach speeds of up to 100 kilometers an hour, making it one of the most fast driverless trains in the world. When the project is completed in 2026, it will consist of three lines, the red, green, and gold lines, which will also connect Doha to the Al Rayyan Stadium and the futuristic Lusail City. This $45 billion smart city will house 450,000 people when completed. Because it's one of the proposed venues for the 2022 FIFA World Cup, many spectators and tourists are expected to throng the city during that time. But with the new Doha Metro system, Qatar will be able to handle these crowds and offer them a great experience. Number 5. Songdo International Business District Songdo International Business District in South Korea is pushing the boundaries of what a smart city should be. Built on reclaimed land near the Yellow Sea, this $40 billion project uses the world's best technologies and eco-friendly practices. Covering 1,500 acres, construction started in 2004 and will complete in 2020. Songdo is designed to be the complete opposite of the capital city Seoul. In contrast to the choking, overpopulated capital, Songdo promotes low carbon emissions and sustainable growth. Around 40% of its area is reserved for green spaces, which is double that of New York City. It also has waterways that mirror the canals of Venice, Italy. Songdo's design eliminates the need for cars and promotes walking because apartment buildings are a maximum of 12 minutes from bus or subway stops, and it has 25 kilometers of bicycle lanes. As a result of that, Songdo produces less than a third of the greenhouse gases a normal city of its size would produce. It's also equipped with a lot of technology. Buildings and streets are fitted with computers, while sensors gather information on energy and traffic. Meanwhile, residents benefit from high connectivity. They can video call each other or attend classes remotely. This technology also enhances security by enabling you to report crimes in real time. As of 2018, around 70,000 people lived in Songdo, and it aims to double this number by 2020. However, this is lower than the targeted 300,000 residents. Therefore, it might be too early to call it a thriving city but it's a great example of innovative technology and design. Number four, the Honshu Shikoku Bridge Project. An iconic feature on Japan's landscape, the Honshu Shikoku Bridge Project is a system of bridges connecting Japan's main islands of Honshu and Shikoku across the inland sea of Japan. The system is made up of three major connections and their respective bridge systems. The three connections are the Kobe Awaji Naruto Expressway, the Seito Chuo Expressway, and the Nishiseto Expressway. The whole project is estimated to have cost $72 billion. 
previously, the two islands could only be reached by ferry. However, when two ferries collided in 1955, killing 168 people, the authorities sought a new, safer solution. The Honshu Shikoku Bridge Authority began construction work in 1975, and 24 years later, the three connections were opened. The bridge system not only made it easier to cross the main islands, but boosted economic activity as well. They were also relatively economical to build and require minimal maintenance. They're also versatile and cater to the needs of pedestrians, rail, and vehicle users. Within the system of bridges, some stand out. The Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. This bridge is considered the longest suspension bridge in the world. It has a main span length of almost two kilometers. Its design features a stiffening girder system. This allows the entire structure to withstand 8.5 magnitude earthquakes and 286 kilometers per hour winds. The Tatara Bridge. Considered a structural masterpiece, the Tatara Bridge offers visitors great views of the Sea of Japan. It has one of the longest main spans of any cable-stayed bridge in the world, measuring 890 meters long. It was originally planned as a suspension bridge, but the design was changed to a cable-stayed bridge to lessen its impact on the environment. The Great Sato Bridge This 9.4-kilometer bridge took 10 years to finish and it holds the title of the world's longest two-tiered bridge, as it has both roads and railway tracks. Its use of various designs, including suspension, cable-stayed, and truss bridges, makes it special in addition to their designs, a notable feat of engineering is that these bridges are built to last for over 200 years. Number 3. Al Maktoum International Airport The ever-increasing demand for air travel has inspired the construction of larger transport hubs. The Al Maktoum International Airport in Dubai is one of the biggest and most luxurious airports in the world. The whole project is estimated to cost a whopping $82 billion. Also known as Dubai World Central, it's the second biggest airport in Dubai after the Dubai International Airport. Construction began in 2006 and the airport opened in 2010 for cargo operations. After that, the passenger flights followed in 2013. Although the project was supposed to be fully operational by 2017, the 2008 financial crisis pushed the deadline to 2027. The airport has an annual cargo capacity of 12 million tons and a passenger capacity of 160 million people per year. These are remarkable numbers. However, there are already plans to expand it. The $32 billion expansion project will make it handle over 220 million passengers per year. They're on track to make Al Maktoum the world's largest airport by 2030. Number 2. The Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor Project In its quest to become a global manufacturing and trading hub, India is building one of the world's largest infrastructure projects ever. The Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor will span almost 1,500 kilometers between the capital city Delhi and the financial hub Mumbai. Costing $100 billion, it's being built as a partnership between India and Japan. It will have smart cities and high-tech industrial zones. One major benefit for India is that it will significantly upgrade the transport infrastructure in the country. When completed, the project will provide 3 million new jobs. Besides that, the project will create many manufacturing hubs, which will increase manufacturing production from 14 to 25 percent by 2025. Two developments to look out for are the high-speed train and the Dolera Smart City. Launched in 2017, the Mumbai Ahmedabad High-Speed Rail Project will be India's first bullet train. It will cover 508 kilometers in two hours at a maximum speed of 350 kilometers per hour. On the other hand, Dolera Smart City will be India's largest new city. The futuristic development will cover over 500 square kilometers and host 2 million people. In comparison to that, Mumbai hosts around 20 million residents on 600 square kilometers. Number 1. The International Space Station 
It's the largest structure humans ever put into space, and it weighs almost 400 tons. To build it, it had to be assembled gradually while orbiting the Earth. The main structure was built between 1998 and 2011. Continuously occupied since the year 2000, it generally holds crews of between three to six people. Supported by multiple nations, the costs of running it have amounted to over $160 billion. NASA alone spends three to four billion dollars a year operating the station and flying missions. It takes just 90 minutes for the International Space Station to make a complete circuit of the Earth. However, it's not moving without purpose. The space station is a busy laboratory where astronauts spend a lot of time performing experiments. It has enough equipment to do 250 experiments in one go. The experiments seek to understand life in space and try to uncover mysteries about life on Earth. One experiment is investigating a gene mutation that could be connected to Parkinson's disease. Scientists need more information about its crystalline structure. Zero gravity on the space station can cause these crystals to enlarge. This will make it easier to study them on Earth using high-resolution imaging. In another experiment, the space station is testing a device called Refabricator. It recycles plastic waste into high-quality 3D printer filament. These provide materials for repairs during long missions. The United States and other participating nations have committed to funding the space station until at least 2024. What will happen in the future to this icon of technology? Currently, they're planning a replacement for it. There's also a possibility that the space station is offered to the private sector. This will open it up to commercial and marketing opportunities. However, the major hardware components are only certified up to 2028. This might limit their options. What do you think about these mega projects? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.